Two players did stripping, baby. He's empty with Grump Cade. Hi, welcome back to Grumpcade. We're about Hi, to Hi, everyone. Uh, two giant monkeys. Power times ten times two? Me I mean, too. Me too. They're more like gorillas, but, like, they have tails? Yeah. They are more like gorillas, you're right. Gorillas don't have tails. Well, they're more like baboons. Oh, they're you know snouty. what? they're snouty. You're absolutely right, they are like- bab Baboons are fucking scary, dude. Yeah, dude. When I was in Singapore, I went, like, like, out a little bit further in Singapore, and I found there was like this, on like a tour of like the like local wildlife, they had a guy who just straight up had a fucking baboon in a cage, and that thing was scary. I went in a near, cage? Yep, a tiny just, cage. Wait, and, it was the, it like barely fit in the cage? Yeah, barely fit in the cage, and it was in there, and I went up to it, and I was like, oh cool, a baboon! And the minute I looked at it, I didn't think it was gonna be like a crazy an animal, it just saw me and screamed the loudest animal scream I've, I've oh ever heard God. in my entire life. And I actually felt my, like, internal or- you know, you know when you get so scared your testicles, like, go into your stomach? Yeah, yeah. That happened. I was so scared. I was fucking terrified. They're Wait, scary, man. So you- you- it Your brain wasn't like, this thing is horrifically imprisoned for no reason. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I just wanted to see- I was- I would- I would've been like nine or eight- eight or nine years old. And, and just, it just banshee shrieked you yeah. in the face? And it- it like clawed at me to try and attack me. Like, That's, it wanted blood. Like, this thing was pissed. It's terrifying. Yeah, it was What color scary. was this bum? Red. Like our head. What? Like our head in game. Oh yeah, red like our head. Okay, hold on. So the best thing to do with these these monkey boys is to uh, grab the tail. Yeah, grab the tail. It does the most damage. But the problem is that it doesn't let you. I think you have to. So like you, it first. The, it's the bar at the bottom. Once yeah. you get that to zero, you can grab the tail. That's their defensive bar. But they also do a ton of damage when you're caught in their in their attacks. So you kind of have to like fly away. And actually, one of the best ways to do it is kind of BS and super cheap. Gallic gun in the face. Is just to shoot key blasts like this. You see? Quick, get him. And then go here, grab it. This is actually, at the end of Xenoverse 1, uh, if you wanted to power level your character, they added a DLC, which was literally just like, it was called like Monkey Madness or something, I can't remember, or Great Ape, Return of the Great Apes. And people would just go in there with this move called Blue Hurricane, which is just like a, like a vertical cone of like energy damage. Right. And if you just hovered over the, um, the apes, you would literally just like kill them in one hit. They would just their 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 entire shield would just be gone. So people would go there since it was the highest level PQ, uh, PQ quest and just grind it and get to like level 99. Oh my if god! If they weren't hacking, because God knows fucking everyone in that game was hacking back then. Back in the day. Back in the day. Uh oh, I actually uh -oh. have to watch out. They, uh -oh. do, they do have range uh -oh. attacks. Oh! Oh shit! Thrown his poop. We haven't even touched. Vegeta. Touch oh Nappa. shit, I'm accidentally on Vegeta. I meant to be on Nappa. Okay, charge up the fire. We should get this, we should get this, should be fine. Uh, you got Gallic gun him. Yeah, this is a little faster though. There we go. Okay, fuck. Sometimes the camera's a little dodgy when I'm trying to lock under the tail. This should do it. This should kill Nappa. Eat shit! Boom. Eat Vegeta. A little harder. A little harder. And mainly because he shoots laser beams out of his mouth. He does do that. Yes. I remember. Or oh, sorry, energy blast. Oh, listen to the music. Got intense. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna do the same thing. I actually discovered this last night, because I died three times doing this one. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. And then I eventually had to go get items, and then I figured out you could just do this. And I was like, oh, this is way easier. Yeah, that's the move. If you- if you're at a certain height, he can only shoot at two two distances. One is like really low and really high, but if you stay like medium height, he can't hit you. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna jump and grab you. It, they can do that, yeah. I actually really wanted this to be a transformation from like multiplayer. Can you imagine how awesome it would be? What to just go great ape? Yeah, because they they said that they weren't gonna have any giant characters in a in an interview, and then when uh it the game was finally like announced, they're like, yeah, Namekians can go huge, and I was like, what? That, that's a giant <laughs> character. What? You said no. Give me that. I want to play as that. That'd be so fun. That would be actually awesome. Yeah, actually, you know what I'd really love in this game? Like, online multiplayer. So if you're doing like a 2v2 or a 3v3, like, player fusions would be fucking fun. And you just mix and match the, the customization options on the characters. Who would control it, though? I think it would be uh, Paper, Scissors, Rock or something like that to decide. Because that'd be fun. Yeah. The, the Paper, Scissors, Rock plays a big part in, like, Dragon Ball. 
Come on. Okay, got him. Softy Fuse, it just does like a quick mini game yeah. where you decide who like, controls it. Yeah, like paper, scissors, rock yeah. or something. That's kind of cool. Or you can like bow out if you want your your better friend to control it and you, you just want to give them your power. That It would be fun for 2v2s as well because it's like you tr the trade off is you're yeah. more powerful, but it's a 2v1. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But how would that work past like uh, level cap? You'd literally be like twice as strong as a level capped character. I don't know. I feel like there's some yeah, but like it would be issue. two on one. That's true. That's true. So it'd be two of them on one of you. That's true. Oh shit! No, no, no! I wanted to get his tail. I didn't mean to do this. Hurry! All right, that was good. I got it. You Ooh. got it. Take this, Vegeta. Goku's Smack. just having a sandwich. I don't know what. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing, Goku? You suck. The, the NPCs in this game are pretty fucking useless, as far as I can recall. I'm gonna get hit, am I? He's gonna do that laser shit. I hate the quest where it's like, if the NPC dies, you lose. And then oh, they just, that. they're just like, oh. <laughs> There's actually a few uh, missions like that. There was one of the first one where you had to, you got, uh, Captain Ginyu steals your body. And you had to go and freeze his ship and fight all his men, but you have to do it as Captain Ginyu. It was infuriating because Krillin and Gohan would always die. And it was just so annoying if you were underleveled for that. There we go. Oh. One more. One more. Take that, you big stanky gorilla. Stanky. Great ape Vegeta. I think the, like, gorilla form is, like... Because in GT, it could go Super Saiyan, but, like... I feel like it's a, not a very good form to use or have. It, it was designed for leveling cities, though, wasn't it? Yeah, that's true. It was, like, for destroying societies. That's yeah. how they destroyed planets. But then it was revealed that, like... They could destroy planets already, but like with, um, by just shooting them. But with, I guess it's that they want to- With wanna, energy beams? Yeah, yeah. but I guess they want to keep- they want to level the cities because they want to sell the planets. That yeah. was the whole thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they would like wipe out the civilization and then sell the planet. Which is what Goku was sent to Earth to do. But he hit his head. Yeah. And forgot. You know what my theory was about the, when they didn't know who Goku Black was? Oh, do you know who Goku Black is? No. Okay, I won't I haven't got that far. I wouldn't spoil it then. But like, uh, no, I won't share that theory because then it, it like it ruins the mystery of who Goku Black is. Because I had a theory as to who he was, and I liked my theory better than the actual reveal. <laughs> I'll just tell you, uh, it was. It, skip over this if you don't want to hear it. Uh, but the, um, I because it was all about time travel. I thought like, there's this one dude who's like comes in the story, and I was like, well maybe this Goku Black guy, since he sounds like Goku, is just Goku from when he was a kid and he didn't hit his head. Right. Like an evil version of Goku yeah. that they like, that was raised. That would make sense. Yeah, because it'd be like, oh, that's smart, because in Dragon Ball he hit his head, and if he didn't hit his head, he'd still be evil. So you could have an evil Goku and it would make perfect sense. And he, he's just like a time anomaly, right? Like a, an alternate Goku from an alternate, like... Reality. An, an alternate reality, right? Yeah. And that, to me, was like, oh, that'd be so cool if that was the case. The real reveal isn't as amazing, to be honest, but... It's still cool. He's still a really cool villain, in my opinion. I I, would, I thought it was going to be like DeviantArt bad, but it's actually all right. <laughs> you really don't like DeviantArt, huh? No, I fucking hate DeviantArt. I have a DeviantArt. I do too. From when I was like 16. I ha I have I've had one since 2004, I think. I think I think about around then, yeah. I I, I used to use it a ton. I used to really like yeah, it. Yeah, mine DeviantArt. mine would also be from around then. I had a- I used to use it for like posting my flashes and stuff, but then DeviantArt had this like big- Oh, I'm not even locked onto him. Had this big thing where they went through and they like wiped all the, um... They wiped pretty much any animations or anything that used copyright sound effects and stuff. So like overnight, like all the Newgrounds animators were just gone from DeviantArt. Because wow. they like basically deleted their entire galleries. Mine was just like... Sketches. Yeah? I used to be quite a good artist, believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, what? I've never seen you draw. I still- I probably still got it, you know? It's like it's like riding a bike. If I asked you to draw ouchies, would you do it? Yes. You should do it. You should do it. In time. In time. I ra I'd rather draw Groku, Groku. the hero <laughs> of, of, oh, uh, of the city. The hero of the city, hero of time. Hero of the universe. Hero of the universe. See, Link's the hero of time. Groku's the hero of the universe. Exactly. I think everyone's going to die. Krillin is down. Yeah, Krillin is- Goku is a- Goku's about to eat shit. Is down is actually his last name. <laughs> his name Krillin, Krillin is, is down. down. <laughs> Boom. Okay, cool, we got it. Easy. Easy. 
Come on, die already, stupid gorilla. You're not really doing a lot with that. I'm gonna be honest. Honestly, the best way to take out a gorilla is with tranquilizers, but that's just my opinion. Do you have experience? No. <laughs> Why would I have experience? With I don't know. You like yeah, gorilla. Tried to like stroke a feral baboon. I don't know if you know. Me, no. Tarzan, you, Jane. I don't know what your life was like in the outback. Yeah, out I didn't live in the outback. I lived on the coast, Perth, West Australia. It's not the outback. You lived in the jungle. Welcome to the with jungle, gorillas. We've got barbecue. Hold on, I'm gonna kill this guy. This guy, fucking, they made this fight so Oh, go, tedious. Goku's down. Oh, Gohan's alive? Really? Gohan's alive? Gohan's alive? I mean, kid Gohan. Ah, fuck. Was pretty strong. Well, teenage Gohan was stronger. Teenage Gohan was ridiculous. Yeah, teenage Go. He was. They kind of ruined a dick. him. Yeah, they did. They just made him into a pussy. Everyone's pissed about that. There's so many Gohan fans. If you go to like a Dragon Ball Z forum, they're all just like, no, this is it, guys. This is when Gohan's gonna come back and finally be relevant again. And you're just like, <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Just, just enjoy. He'll beat them with math. Just. And, and his tracksuit. <laughs> <laughs> math and his tracksuit and his fucking glasses. Yeah. He suddenly just got glasses. You're a pure, you're a, you're a Saiyan. Yeah. You don't need glasses, you idiot. Fukatsu no F or. Re re resurrection of Freezer. It's or whatever. they're fake. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. But like, I like it when they're like. He's the Gohan. only Saiyan in the world that has glasses. There's no way it's real. Go. He goes to Gohan. Pick See, look, look, that's the best score you can get. A Thank top you. of the alphabet. I did it. He says to Gohan, "Can you still go Super Saiyan?" He's like, "I think." It's like, what do you mean? What do you mean you think? You think. How long has it been? Literally, the most amazing ability any living creature could have. You away. think you can still do it? You could go Super Saiyan two when you were like fourteen. I would be doing it in the mirror every morning. I'd be like, blonde, not blonde, blonde, not blonde, blonde. Why are you know, you like going back me? and forward. You know what I mean? <laughs> you would. You don't. Don't tell me you wouldn't. I'm laughing because it's true. You know you. All right, all right, but like serious question. Did you do a Kamehameha no, in the mirror? No, fuck. You, my question was similar. Have yeah. you ever tried to go Super Saiyan? Oh, as a kid, yeah, of course. Yeah, everyone did. Yeah. Everyone. If you didn't, you're a liar. Yeah, you're a fucking liar. You Actually, are a liar. When I was a kid, I I used to love doing Kamehamehas in the mirror when I was getting ready for school. Yeah. And then I remember that I had that thought like. If I actually did pull it off, my dad would be so mad at me. I'd put a hole in the house. Like, I'd literally destroy this mirror and destroy my bedroom behind it. And my dad would be furious. He wouldn't even care that I did Kamehameha. He'd be like, you're grounded. You're so fucking grounded. You actually weighed up the repercussions. Yeah, I'm doing Kamehameha. Are you doing Kamehameha in the mirror? I was like, then I had that thought. I was like, if I actually nice do pull this off, which is not going to happen, I'm grounded. You're like, done for. Yeah. Maybe that was what held you back. Good to have you back. Who is it? <gasps> is it Groku? It's Groku. Oh my god. It's Groku. Look at him. He's glorious. Look at him. He's glorious. I love him. I want to kiss him. <laughs> you just see the side of his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I love it. I Look at him. Love it. He's beautiful. The hero of the universe. Send all Groku fan art to at Strippin and at Rubber Ninja, please. Welcome back to YouTube. Man, that was fantastic. And next time on Grumpcade, the journey continues with Groku and Ouchies. Okay, bye. <laughs> He's so good. Uh, hold on. Oh, All right, cool. There's four. All right. Ah. I'll do an end sync. And then... It, and then... that, then, then, then Adjust I, it, Justin Timberlake? What? No, not Justin Timberlake. An end sync? No, not end sync.